Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to be sharing my beauty, fashion, and random favorites. So these are all things that I've been using throughout the past couple months to get ready for spring and into the springtime. I want to start off with my first favorite, which is an app favorite. So thank you to the brand Best Fiends for sponsoring this video. Best Fiends is a free puzzle game app where you build a team of fiends, which are these really cute little fuzzy creatures, and you match the similar colors to defeat the evil slug. So this game is really fun because I have a really long bus ride to school. I like to just sit and play my best fiends game. This month there's an Easter challenge where you can win special prizes, unlock the bunny character in the best fiends app. If I were you, I would go down below and check out this app. The link is in the description. I'm currently on level 32. If you do click my link in the description box, you can get $5 worth of gold and diamonds so you can can use in the game. So thanks again to Best Fiends for sponsoring this video. This is an app that I absolutely love. So that's my first favorite of this whole favorites video. My second random favorite that I'm going to mention is my Henry Bendel phone case. So I got this a couple weeks ago when I was at the King of Prussia mall and it just has two girls laying out by the pool reading fashion magazines with their sunglasses on, bathing suits, very glam and I thought this was the perfect phone case for spring going into summer. I'm going to go on into makeup. We're going to start off with my lip gloss obsession. So, <laughs> these are the three lip glosses that I wear basically all the time, every single day. I've been wearing this like glossy, peachy, sparkly lip. So, I'm going to show you guys my three favorite shades. This first one is Bonnie Bell Lip Tides, and it's in the shade Mochaccino, I think. Um, this is a really cheap lip gloss. I literally got it for $3 at the food store. So, if your local food store carries Bonnie Bell, I would highly suggest picking this up because this is my favorite out of all three. And it has little sparkly shades, and it's a peachy tone. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. My second shade is this NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. Again, it's very similar to this one, except it's a little bit of a darker peach tone. So if I want something that pops a little bit more, I'll wear this one. It's in the shade Perfect Parfait. And this, again, was super cheap, probably around $6 or $7. Not as cheap as this one, but... Still pretty affordable. And the third lip gloss, again, is another NYX lip gloss. And this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. So this lip gloss I've actually had for a really long time. And I just started wearing it recently. This is a nude lip gloss. It's just glossy. It doesn't have any specks of glitter in it like these. So if I'm going for more of a classic look, I'll use this one. But yeah, these are my three favorite lip glosses. All super affordable. I would highly suggest... You get your hands on one of them. My second makeup favorite is an old cult favorite of the beauty community. This is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I've just been using this palette non-stop. I probably got it around a year ago, so I was very late to the game. But I've been using the shades Sin, which is this sparkly pink shade all over my lid. And this other shade is Virgin, which is a white shimmery shade that I've been using in the inner tear duct. And the shade Sidecar I've been using all over my eyelid if I want a little bit of a bronzy look. And that's what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing Sidecar and Toasted. This is a really nice versatile palette. I've also been using Buck to fill my eyebrows because I ran out of my eyebrow pencil. I use these shades all the time and I've been obsessed with it. This is the only palette I've been using for the past like three months. Moving on from makeup into skincare. My first skincare favorite is this Rose Petals Rose Water and I picked this up at a like hippie bohemian type store at my mall called East Meets West. It says that it's an aromatherapy mist and a body splash, but a lot of people use it to set their makeup. So that's how I've been using it. I've just been spraying my whole face before I put on makeup and then after I put on makeup, 
But yeah, really love this. My second thing for skincare favorites, I actually just started using probably like two weeks ago. And this is just sunflower oil. Basically how I use this is I mixed it in with my moisturizer to give an even more hydrated look to my skin. I've just been really trying to take care of my skin recently. So just some natural beauty hacks that I'm just showing you guys. The funny part is I did all these skincare favorites in backwards order of how I usually use them. Lime and sea salt body scrub that I picked up at Wegmans. It smells so good. It smells like a margarita, I guess. I found that a salt scrub rather than a sugar scrub is actually more exfoliating and good for your skin because let me just tell you a quick story. You guys know those people in the mall where they have the kiosks and then they scrub your hands and then they're like, buy this, it's like $80 and it'll make your hands feel smooth and honestly, I was almost tricked into buying one of those. But um, I realized that the people at those kiosks were using salt exfoliations rather than sugar exfoliations and I've been used to using the Bath and Body Works sugar exfoliation so I was like let me try and pick up my own salt exfoliations and see if it works as well this stuff it does it literally works as well as those $80 things that you find at the mall the kiosk so I'd highly recommend this I've had it for probably like two months and I'm still not done it's like halfway done but again just another thing to take care of my skin more. Now we're going to move on to my one hair care favorite, my Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. So honestly, I usually, before I dyed my hair blondish, I was taking showers like almost every day, but I don't want my hair dye to like wash out very easily, so I've been trying not to shower as much. So I've been using this Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. It's cruelty free, it doesn't smell that bad. Um, it gets rid of of like the gross feeling that your hair produces when you haven't showered in a long time. It's really cheap at the drugstore so highly recommend you pick this up if you don't want to wash your hair very often. I'm going to move on to accessories favorites. I have three different accessories that I have to show you guys and the first one is this really pretty rose gold choker that has these little flowers on it that I'm wearing right now. I picked this up back in February to go with an outfit that I wore to New York Fashion Week if you haven't seen that blog post, the link will be down below. I really like this for the spring. It's very dainty and a girly choker. I got this at Charming Charlie's. My second accessories favorite are these cute little cherry earrings that I got for Christmas from my mom. She picked them up at a vintage store. I haven't worn them really all winter, but then in March, April, I started wearing them because I feel like they're really cute spring-summer earrings. And my last favorite accessory for the season are these Chloe sunglasses, another thrift store find. I actually paid only $40 for these. So these sunglasses are a really pretty brown shade. They have Chloe written on the sides. If you guys didn't know, that's a designer brand, but it also happens to be my name. So these are really good quality high-end sunglasses. I highly suggest you guys pick up a really nice pair of sunglasses for the summer so your eyes can be protected and you will also look glamorous at the beach or shopping. And last but not least, my fashion favorites. So my first favorite that I'm going to mention is this top that I'm wearing right now. Again, thrifted. This is actually a Victoria's Secret 2001 lingerie top. Yeah, I shocked you. I've been wearing lingerie tops with jeans out in public. <laughs> so as long as it looks a little bit like a blouse and it can go either way, I would say go for it. Um, I've been doing that a lot this season and honestly this top is so, 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 so cute. It has little embroidery on the side and it's all lacy and girly. So I've been really obsessed with this top. My favorite are Calvin Klein jeans. So if you guys know me, I haven't worn jeans since like the beginning of sophomore year and I'm a senior in high school. Um, I started wearing jeans this season just because I discovered a beautiful thing called mom jeans which are very loose fit but then they fit like nice and tight at the top. Um, so I picked these up at Poshmark, again thrifted, and these are high-waisted Calvin Klein jeans. They were only like $30 because I thrifted them. They have the cool label on the back and they just look so good with any blouse that I pair it with. And I also cuff them at the bottom just to make them look cooler. But yeah, I've just been loving mom jeans and these are my absolute favorite pair. Another fashion favorite is this light blue off the shoulder blouse. I've been loving the whole off the shoulder blouse look and actually 
This blouse is from Love Culture, and if you watched my videos back in 2014, that is when I bought it. <laughs> I've literally been wearing this top every spring for the past like four years and I've just fallen in love with it again this spring and I've been obsessed with it so I thought I'd give it a mention. Um, if you go back to my March favorites 2014 you can see me wearing this top again. Really tiny jean skirts. So this one is by Abercrombie. It's frayed at the bottom. It's really mini. It's so cute. Jean skirts are adorable. They're perfect to pair with blouses or just plain tops and they they make anything look cute. So that is the end of my current favorites video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to turn my notifications on so you will be notified every single time I post a video and of course subscribe down below. Also be sure to check out the app Best Fiends in the description box. Thank you guys for sponsoring this video. I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm working on some very exciting videos that will be coming out soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Prima donna girl, yeah. All I ever wanted was the world. I can't help that I need.